And for you to have, you know, seven children charting on the, you know, a charting artist, w- developing video games, acting, producing, like, yeah. wild. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Woo! All right, everybody, it's your boy, My Wand, here at Dash Radio on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Today we got, man, we got a son of Chicago. Uh, all around talent, just super talented artist, Chef Sean. What up, boy? How are you doing? Man, I'm blessed, man. man. Doing good, doing good. Thank you for coming through, bro. We had to redo this interview. I learned a good lesson, kids. You got to make sure you do shit properly. <laughs> I'm lucky because, you know, Chef comes from Chicago. Yeah. And, and when when I was like, oh, shit, I fucked up. Chef's one of the coolest dudes I know. Yeah, man, you know, shit happens, man. Man, I appreciate you know. Like you need a lot more of that, you know, in the world, because everybody too, uh, too on edge right now. Absolutely, you know, we need a lot. I remember having fun going out, so we got to bring that back. Yeah, right. It's not the same anymore. Yeah, especially man. here in LA, everybody wants something. It's great. It's. I, I remember it was everybody just wanted some <laughs> some fun. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. LA used to be real fun. Yeah, so. now it's all crazy, man. Uh, but you, man. You had a hell of a 2022. Oh man, one one of the best years, you know, musically, for me was it, it 2022. Was, yeah. It was huge. We were even, but before you popped in today, I was talking to the head of hip hop. He's like, "Yo, who's rolling through?" Because he sees me charging up everything. I'm like, "Chef Sean." He's like, "Bro, Runaway was in rotation like crazy," and he, we're looking it up. It's still there playing. Like yeah, it, that Runaway record, it's, 2022. It's still going up with a bullet. Too. A- a- absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. We are n- number number four, number five in uh, the UK wow. on, on Billboard, and number twenty nine. Uh, no, I think thirty or something here. So that's amazing, oh, what? bro. No, my bad. Let's get it right. Thirty eight. Yeah. Thirty eight. That's still huge. But we're still moving up. We was just forty like, and last week. That's on Runaway, right? Yeah. Billboard. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. Man, you know, and it, and it keeps going. So. Man, I'm just loving the motion, you know. Yeah, and that record, what's what's really dope is there's a lot of different sides to Chef Sean. You know what I mean? If I go back and if, if you go back and listen to all the singles and just really dive into your music, there's a lot of different sides. You know, you're a really dope rapper, but on that record, you tapped into like that kind of like Afro beats kind of pocket. Yeah. Um, have you felt any pressure to, or, or have you put any pressure on yourself to? chase after that again that specific sound um you know like i got such a body of work like i got two albums ready to come out work for music like ready now yeah they ready oh you know, shit. And some strong i, I say my strongest shit for you know later okay you know so i got some i got some records that should uh you know be if not above it'd be right there with runaway okay so you, you know i you, got radio Radio uh, ready, so yeah. ready. Okay, okay. Because I wondered, I think a lot of times it happens to artists. Like, I remember when Big Sean, uh, he, had, he, had, he had a record with Chris Brown. I can't remember the name of it, but mm-hmm. it was, like, his biggest record at the time. And I remember Big Sean would always talk about it, and he's like, man, that record drove him crazy in the time because that wasn't, like, his style of rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think uh, his producer at the time, like, put, was like, yo, we should do a record like this, and it worked. Uh, Pop. That was like when Big Sean had his moment. Where he's all over BET, MTV, and stuff. Uh, and yeah, so I wondered if 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 you now are like, okay, I gotta recreate more records like Runaway, or if you're just doing. Nah, I'm not into like the recreate and trying to chase, but like my, I would say like my realm in music is like it's not. I'm not in a box, so you know I, I just really go off the vibe. So really, it's if it's vibing, it's vibing. Absolutely. You know, but I got a record that's called Good Karma. Okay. And I feel like uh, it's going to be, you know, it might be kicking uh, Runaway's ass. Oh, okay. That's, <laughs> yeah. a, that's a heavy feat, bro. Runaway did numbers. It's yeah. doing numbers. Yeah. Let me correct that. Now, you know, and then I'm going to put that out there just because, I, I, you know, like a self-competition, like uh-huh. competing with myself. Absolutely. And, you know, something like that. But I, I, I just feel like that song... It's got the components, so okay. You know. And but let's talk. So one another thing I really liked is you're still releasing and pushing records off of my life. Yeah. So we just dropped too late. Well, yeah, too late's not on my life. Oh, too. Oh, so we're getting yeah. ready for the next rollout. Yeah. Well, yeah, too late uh, was uh, 
I needed to give give them something fresh. Uh huh. Something uh-huh. that wasn't on the album. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I wanted to go street too because Runaway is so like up here. Absolutely. Like radio listen good, you know. So I hit them with you know a little grind, a little grind. Absolutely, and that <laughs> I think that's more of what your sound is. You know that, what I mean? That is what my I listen st- to like Flex Off, Legal Pothead. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. that is more of your sound. That's street rap, rap shit. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned Legal Pothead. That was like a commercial. That wasn't really? even like a song. You know, like it's dope. I like it. You know, but I did that as like an ad kind of for 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 Legal Pothead. Oh yeah, that, shit. It's, it's a uh, weed uh, uh, cannabis brand. That's awesome. Yeah, that, so. Talk about that, man. Making money like artists need to do a better job of that because there's so many ways to monetize off music. Yeah. It's it, it's not just putting out an album and going and doing shows. There's syncs, there's TV placements. Yeah, yeah. And, and speaking of TV, man, I got to give you a gift. Uh, I do this with every artist. I don't know if you remember last time I give people an album. Yeah. So I'm still doing it. I'm still going through my albums. Um, this time I want to give you. I'm, I don't know. I'm anxious to see what, what album know you got if, for me. If you rock with this, I'll get rich or die trying, of course. The movie soundtrack. Oh man, <laughs> I fuck with the movie. I had to give you the movie piece because you are a rapper, but you are also an actor. Yeah. And you've seen success in both lanes. Um, 2023 is is Chef Sean. Focusing more on the, I'm assuming it's more on the music when it sounds like you got two albums, he said, in the pocket. Yeah, they ready. So that kind of lets me have a little bit of free time to work on other oh, okay. ventures because I'm not in the studio, like, hawking down new music. Like, mm-hmm. I, I got, like, a vault right now. Okay. So I, I have a video game that I'm working on. You said a video game? Yeah, it's called Legal Piehead. So... Like the branding oh, on it, we, uh, me and my man's Al, Al Franklin, uh, we wrote the script for the video game. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We're on the second stage. We're getting, you know, the green room, you know, the balls. They're getting my movement. Get you know? moving in. Is this uh, like a mobile it. game, a console game, computer uh, PS, game? Uh, PS5, oh, PS5, Xbox. Hold on. So you got a, a console like PS5, Xbox One. Well, no, it's gonna be a game for PS5. Yeah. The, Xbox. That, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, and if if I'm correct, you are a father as well. Yeah. You have a handful of children, right? Seven. Seven children. Yeah. This is one of the most. I almost think you have a twin. <laughs> you have to have an identical twin. Maybe there might be triplets. <laughs> how do you how do you juggle all these? Because being a father of one, which I am not, I've seen fathers of one or two have a hard time. Yeah, yeah. Father of seven, yeah. charting rapper. You're not just like a rapper that's like you know, bubbling or doing a record here and there, you have been charting. You have two more projects thank ready. Thank God, thank you. Video yeah. game. Yeah. How do you manage all these different careers at once? Well, I mean, honestly, you go so hard. I, I've, I've been going so hard just trying to, you know, stay busy, stay active, you know, keep some content coming, keep making music, just keep working, keep working, keep working. And then, you know, with all the work, it eventually be, starts to pay off. Mm-hmm. So like shit's paying off now, and now it's all coming kind of full circle. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna get a little real busy. But I created mm-hmm. the, you know, the 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 opportunity to be busy. That's a beautiful you know, thing. So hopefully, you know, uh, my schedule be kind of packed coming up. <laughs> Sounds like it is, <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, with the kids and all, you know, I gotta thank my my baby mama. You know, my my girl, uh, she kind of makes it easy with the kids. Ah, uh, so that's you man, know, that's so, that's huge. That's you know, huge. She she's a big help. Um, you know, cause it's it's some people out here. I read a lot of shit. You know, they doing crazy stuff with their own kids. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's a blessing just to have somebody you can trust and you know Absolutely. rely on with your kids. Absolutely. But uh, besides that, man, you know. Uh, I just did breaking hits uh, over in downtown LA, and that shit was big. It was real nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, turnout was dope, and it seemed like they really vibed me with the you know the too late. So mm-hmm. you know I'm a I'm gonna keep the pressure on them, keep my foot on my neck. You know, absolutely. This year gonna be real because uh, I, I got another one after too late. It's, it's called uh, All I Know. Okay. That's another street banger too. So. Okay, so we're going street. Yeah, we're going season. street for a minute until good karma. Okay. I'm gonna I'm hit him with good karma when 
run away dies always. Okay, know, okay. Down. And then you once that stops climbing the charts. Yeah, so that's one of the coolest things. But that yeah. record is still climbing them charts. Yeah, man. They they taught me, you know, and you know, with the prayer hands. Yeah, they yeah. Talking yeah. about I'll be top twenty soon. So I mean, I'm just praying, for, you know, that it keeps going. That's amazing, man. Yeah, boy, that's amazing. Know, from where I came from, so you know. I really got to, you know, be thankful. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Coming from Chicago, you don't, I, you're one of these dope artists that I think it's really cool when I listen to an artist and I'm like, damn, I really, he doesn't sound like anybody else. So I wouldn't have even known you were from Chicago, but I wouldn't have known where you're from. You have a really unique sound. Who are some of the people that inspired you sure. coming up? <laughs> This 50? guy right here, man. This, that's why when you gave it to me, it's funny you gave me this guy. Yeah. You know, the inspiration this guy is because, you know, the music was always solid to me. I always fuck with the music. But the way he stays relevant and, you know, he's creative with these TV shows, he knows how to, you know, keep keep it pumping. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a good, you know, he's down the right road. Yeah, you no, know, I really felt that was part of it for me was like you seem to be following his blueprint, not 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 like following the blueprint, but you have a lot of the same hey, attributes. Yeah, no, if if it, if it is the blueprint, 50 did lay it because I remember years ago he had, I think, what, do you, what does he have, three video games now or two? So yeah. He, all for PS5, so he did it first, you know. Yeah, that's a beautiful I thing. I just get it out the sky. Yeah, yeah. But I'm applying the pressure, though. Absolutely. And, and I'm doing it. So. Absolutely. But yeah, 50, man, that's why uh, you, getting this CD was kind of kind of cool. That's dope, man. I think that I want to manifest that. I like to manifest with every artist. That was a really dope moment in 50 Cent's career because you saw him as an artist, you saw him as an actor, yeah. and you saw him as a as a producer. As far yeah. as like he produced that movie, yeah. and I want to manifest. There's gonna be like on some Antoine Fisher shit, like some a like Chef Sean, you know, big picture movie. I could see Chef Sean acting as Chef Sean, produced by Chef Sean. I, Fuck, you doing yeah. the scripts too? Yeah, you say and acting as Chef Sean. Uh huh. Hey, manifest in in in, in the works right now. I can see it. If 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 you wouldn't be acting, what what actor would you say could play Chef Sean and really? Embody that. Oh shit! Right now, I mean, acting wise, we don't really look too much alike. But acting wise, uh, what's my boy uh, from Creed? Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, he could play me. I can see that. Can I can see me. that. He has that like grittiness, you know. Yeah. He, he represents Oakland yeah. up there, so it's like it's like a it's like a gritty, clean, you know, like he he can clean up. He can, do the gritty. I think he could play me. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. So, so we got too late out now. Yeah, um, too late. Uh, featuring uh, Mac Tucker. Shout out Mac Tucker. Shout out Chris. How did you choose? Uh, what came about with getting Mac Tucker on the record? Oh uh, shit, Mac. Mac. Uh, if you go back and you know, if you do some scrolling, you see uh, one of my first songs that I put out. Um, Dope Boy, featuring Mac Tucker. So, you know, me and Mac, we, we, you know, we always work. He's one of my favorite artists, you know, from California. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, here and there we drop different gems, different songs, and you know, some of them just be like, man, put that shit out. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, we, me and Mac got a few songs. You know, we damn near got an album ready, but you know, we just piecing it together. That's really dope that you came back around and worked with him again because after run away sometimes when artists have that big moment mm -hmm. they change you know what i mean and they don't yeah. talk to the same people but it doesn't seem like chef sean changed nah it's too late for that <laughs> yeah i love that bro i love that it's too late um how okay so we gotta I, I know i hate to bring it up again man but you are a father of seven which is a beautiful thing hey man wonderful do you make how do you juggle being a charting artist and then making it to everyone's birthday did you make it to all the kids birthdays um you know what i i could some of my kids are in chicago mm. so um recently i've made it to all of them but i remember like probably about three or four years ago you know i, I sent a nice low nice amount of money and it was <laughs> like my bad i can't get out there but soon the spring hit this that and other but it yeah, still got to give but yeah i try to make it to all of them Hey, That's incredible, man. Try to make it to all of them, you know. But I got, I got 
one birthday coming up in March. It was March 3rd, and then uh, April 17th. And then mine is May 1st. And then uh, uh, April, I mean, May 18th, and then May 28th. Like they Jesus. all yeah. March to May fucking sucks, bro. You <laughs> yeah. gotta be ordering gifts like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's cool, you know. Yeah. You know, I just enjoy the time, man. Well, that's a beautiful thing, man. Cause look, like not not all parents in general, even parents who aren't successful, find time to a lot to their children. Yeah. And for you to have, you know, seven children, charting on the, you know, a charting artist, developing video games acting producing like yeah, wild yeah. wild man yeah, i'm yeah. still i'm not convinced that there's one chef sean i think you have an identical twin and i think y'all be splitting the workload or something <laughs> i don't know I don't what's know. your motivation let me ask you what's your motivation to work so hard because you you've obviously had success you can take some time off especially after run away you could have chilled but you are grinding and going harder and harder what motivates chef sean yeah, because it's still like even if it's you know, even if I'm around the corner, like I'm still shooting for that like that number one mm. spot. You know, I you know I need to be up there. Mm -hmm. You know, so the day I don't work on it, you know, somebody else is. So it's it's just you know just keep applying the pressure and should have happened the way it's supposed to. You know, and then if it doesn't, you know, at least I did I did what I, you know I could live with it. Absolutely. I can live with it. I'd be like, I did everything I could. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know. I'll tell you what, bro. Even if you stop today, you have already done, you know, more than what 99% of recording artists and the history of recording artists have done. Now, 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 now you know, uh, in that statistic, I'm probably one of the main ones that they told me that, I, that I've heard over and over, you know, because it's been a minute, you know, but it's like, uh, oh, you still rap? Or... Mm. Uh, uh, you, you're not doing movies no more. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, I see, I hear shit. You know, and then now the whole conversation's changed, you know. It's Absolutely. Like, man, I always knew you. you know? Yeah, <laughs> oh, man, I never lost faith in you. Yeah, I knew you would because you stuck with me. Well, whatever. I remember you told me to get a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they told you to quit your 9 to 5. Now they're yeah. trying to work for you 9 yeah. to 5. You know, but, you know, I just stayed to it, man. I, I, I did what was in my heart. You know? I love that. And I wasn't going to be happy doing anything else. Yeah. So I would have been miserable. Absolutely. And you stuck and to then, it. And then just think of it. It's like a chain of effects. If you miserable, you got to, I got seven kids. Now I got seven kids with a miserable dad, you know, and that energy going to rub 100%. off, you know, so. They're going to inherit it. It's like yeah, generational. At, at, yeah. At least if I'm following and doing what I want, I won't be miserable. And, you know, if I, it's not everything is cracked out to be. At least I'm, can, you know, I'm not giving off no terrible energy. You know absolutely, what I mean? absolutely. Now, would you, if if one of the kids wanted to be said, Dad, should I be a rapper or an actor? What are you gonna push them to be? It's funny you say that. <laughs> My guy Jordan. What up, what up? Uh, it's funny you say that because you could you could go download two of them right now. They on they on uh, Apple Music. Your kids? Yeah, two of them. Are. How does that work now? Now and you. One of them is a battle rapper. So. Have Have you ever battled? Your, have, ever battled? have you battled your child? Oh hell no. Why they would win the battle? Oh, uh, he's a he's a like he URL like you know he he in it heavy. He oh shit. Unde undefeated too. So. Oh shit. <laughs> that must be proud. You must be proud <laughs> as hell. Yeah yeah. Have you guys recorded anything together yet? Yeah he he's on um uh the album uh. Uh, K Venom. Okay, okay. Uh, K Venom's his artist name. Yeah, that's his artist name. That's dope, man. What a beautiful thing to see as as a father. Not like, because, you know, Michael Thompson once said, I heard him on the radio say, it felt better for him to watch Clay Thompson win a ring mm -hmm. than any of the championship rings that he won. Really? He said it just was something about this, like seeing his son do it. And then he said, also, it hurt more to watch Clay lose a championship than it ever hurt him, him to lose one. Yeah. So it he must, probably ain't want that pain for him. You know what I'm saying? He exactly. Probably feel like he could deal with it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So for you now with K Venom. Yeah, and surfing is the name of the song. Surfing. surfing. So if you wanna, if 
you want to go check out me and K Venom song, it's called Surfing. That's a beautiful and thing, then, bro. Uh, this oh. is rare. It's like T.I. Domani. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, we had like Master P and Romeo. Um, there's not a lot of father sons both cracking in the game at the same time. Well, OK DZ is another one. He's on the album as well. He's on the album twice. He's on Good Dope and uh, um, Never Leave. And Never Leave was like the album art cover, artwork song. Oh, shit. They had the, uh, Wait, you said she? No, uh, he. he. OK, yeah. so both of your kids are on the album. Yeah. That man, you deserve a father of the fucking year award. Um, the last, the last uh, interview, I, that was my son I came with. Oh, damn. With you really deserve a father okay, of the dude. year award. Grammys, we need to include a father of the year fucking <laughs> nominated award, you know, because that's that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Then if, as you chart, as you win Grammys, you're, if they're on the projects, they end up winning Grammys. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Grammys, you were considered. I seen that. I saw that all around. Yeah. Runaway was right there. Yeah, for uh, best rap performance, uh, you know, uh, nominee consider, uh, consideration. That's amazing, man. Man, it was amazing is what it was. Yeah. You know, so... I was, uh, you know, when I found out that I didn't get the nomination, it was like, well, who got it? Uh, Kendrick Lamar. I like, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, uh, they told me some of the other days. I was like, well, you hey, know. Hey, it was a hell of a year for rap. Yeah. Rap had a really big year. It was a yeah. tough year to crack any of those awards in hip hop. Yeah, I wasn't tripping, man. I, you know, it was, like you said, one of my biggest years, mm -hmm. you know, and everything uh, to this point has been going up. That's a beautiful so, thing. So, I, what are your plans now for 2023? How is how is Chef Sean gonna have a bigger 2023 than he had 2022, which was astronomically big? Uh, put the clamps down on this video game. You know, keep dropping the music. Um, you know, uh, I know it might not be this year, but the video game. I hope, uh, you know, that's gonna open the door for, you know, soundtrack for the video game. And then if it does pretty good, hopefully we can do a movie for the, you know, the video game itself. Damn. Okay. So you, this is a full circle. Yeah. The, you want to drop the video game. This you're. I'm assuming you're gonna do the soundtrack. It's gonna be like your music. Yeah. Uh, I'll say about eighty percent. Okay. And then um, wow, that might be because I I don't know if Fifties Get Rich it did have a video game to it. I know he dropped video games around uh, that bulletproof. time. Bulletproof. Yeah. Bulletproof. Bulletproof. Dude, you are right up that alley, man. Yeah, That's yeah. going to be real full circle. Yeah. You can yeah. play it, listen to the soundtrack as yeah. you're playing it, hop off, listen to it on the drive, and then go to the movies yeah. and watch it. <laughs> and go watch it. That's yeah. a beautiful thing. Do you yeah. have any um, any more acting opportunities coming down the pipeline? Um, no, right now, um, you know, I would love to work on a lot of things, you know. Um, I really, I really want to, like, if it was some, my dream job right now uh, would be to play Tony in the remake of Scarface. So. Damn. Cause you know I can do that, man. Uh -huh, yeah. You know what I mean? No, nah, it's, it's not. No, no. Hey, just say I can do it. <laughs> you got the accent down. It's not a problem. <laughs> you got the accent down. You're from, you're from Chicago. Yes. So you, you have experience coming out of that environment. Um, so oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. Now, Chef Sean, uh, too late is out now, but I got so, a question for you. If there's a fan, if there's someone who just discovered Chef Sean, uh, what's, what's the one song you want them to listen to first from your whole catalog? Mm, good one. Good one. I would probably say go, go listen to Overdose. Okay. Overdose. Why did you pick that one? Uh, you know. I'm overdose on designer. I'm overdose on women. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's just like I'm overdosing, but not on no drugs. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like my get high song, get high on myself. I like that. I fuck you with know, that. So, I mean, honestly, the reason I say that one, if you haven't heard or show, it'll kind of introduce you to who the, who the hell you're listening to, probably. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know no, no, it'll do it proper. I think if people listen to Runaway first, which everyone has to listen to that record, if you listen to Runaway first, they might assume that, oh, I'm listening to an Afrobeats artist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's, that's a good choice. Yeah, nah, that, you know, when they, when they hear Runaway, 
I, I want them to feel like, oh shit, he he snapped on this. He can do this too. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But yeah, I, I gotta. You know, really, like you said, nobody sounds like me, and I like sounding like that. You know? That's dope, man. Well, you've been, man, you've been a gem for the industry. Super authentic. I love when I listen to a rapper and I believe what, what I hear. Um, too late out now, but I'm really excited for that good karma, too. Yeah. I'm really excited. Cause that's going to be tough to top what you did with Run Away, but you sound confident as a motherfucker. Like, you're going to oh, yeah. go above that. Yeah, nah. I love it, man. You know. And then it, it'll be fun, you know. If it doesn't, hey, I lost to one of my songs. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, it'll be cool. Exactly. But yeah, I think I, I think I'm on his heels. Okay. Well, hey, Chef Sean, man, you were one of the coolest people I've, I've had. To, I've had the opportunity to sit man, here with. It, but... Chef Sean had every reason to walk in here today and slap me, but he's <laughs> one of the coolest dudes I've met, man. Yeah, um, nah, man. One of yeah, Chicago's man. finest, definitely. And uh, just excited to see you, you know, challenge your yourself and out compete this, you know, what you did last year, this year. Yeah, man, got to, got to. Absolutely. I, I want to shout out though a few people, man. Absolutely. You know, shout out, you know, Dash Radio having me, uh, George and Virginia Daniels. You know, shout out them uh, straight from Chicago. You know, they like the mayor, <laughs> and like the royal family from the crib. Uh, Al, Brahma, and, um, you know, Rob Star Entertainment, man. You know, love. Where can they find you on socials? Man, uh, I'm the real Chef Sean on Instagram. Uh, T-H-E-R-E-A-L. Hey. <laughs> the fans are excited. Uh, C-H-E-F-S-E-A-N. And, um, and if you want to download music, just type in Chef Sean, you know, and I'm on all platforms. Uh, go listen to OK DZ. Go listen to uh, Hari Montclair. And uh, keep your eyes out and open for K Venom on the rap battle side. And, uh, you know, I, I got a lot more coming. So, you know, stay tuned and keep up with me. It's going to be a busy year, everybody. This is my one, Chef Sean. You, yeah, you, you can hear Chef throughout Dash Radio. We got him on Hip Hop X, The City, Dash X. All around, so check him out, and uh, I look forward to running this again when you know when yeah. that good karma come. We're gonna see how that does, and I look forward to you know uh, yeah. chopping up again, Chef. Right, cool. Thank you so much. All right, man. Appreciate We're out. You. Boom.